From the vault. Out of the vault. All right, so top secret, I'm just going to... We had a long um, weekend. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go through these uh, pretty fast. Uh, the video speaks for themselves. First okay. one is the UV stemma, and then we're going to uh, show a couple other things, including an upcoming cobbler accessory for the Pi 400. Then some so humidity samples. Sensor in there. Yeah, then some samples of some uh, LED stuff, and then we'll do coral, and then we'll end with this uh, coral thing uh, for you, this USB like dongle thing. So yeah. Here we go. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a sensor that I've been meaning to do for a bit. It's the LTR three ninety UV sensor. An I squared C UV sensor is highly desirable, but they keep getting discontinued. This is the only one I've been able to find. And I got some samples, so I put together a STEMI QT board uh, hooked up to my Metro Mini. And we've got this cool, like, UV, um, like, safety, like, uh, what's it called? Sanitizer. Sanitizer, thank you. I can do electronics, I can't do wards. And then I'm going to put this under here. So there you go, that's now sensing. And then on my computer, you can see the data is really high because it's sensing UV data. The sensor can also do... Um, uh, ambient light, but what I really like is this ability yeah, to make it box. easy. Kind of so go down to zero, put it back in the box, goes back up to a thousand. All right, UV sensing. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, it's a STEMA Sunday. I'm putting together an HTU 31D STEMA QT breakout. I just got these from DigiKey, some samples. And um, it's kind of a standard package. So I actually got to solder this onto an existing STEMA QT design. Um, and just like just to get it up and running, it does have a couple extra different pins that like a reset pin that isn't used here. Um, so I'm going to have to redesign this breakout a little bit, but just to get it up and running and have an Arduino library, which is what I did. So this is the um, TEHTU21D. So like an upgrade of the very popular HTU21D. And um, you see here, you can pick them up. They're about two bucks a piece from DigiKey. And if you'd like to check out our library, it's on GitHub under Adafruit HGU31D. It's a nice little humidity temperature sensor over I squared C. The Cobbler 400 plays animated GIFs with the Raspberry Pi 400. Yeah, I'm just testing out my little hat extender. This is the Cobbler 400, which lets you plug in any of our hats very easily into the Pi 400. I just tested out the um, bonnet version of this. It's, it's kind of cute. It's a little slim extendo thingy. Um, and that worked, and so now I was like, well, let's try a high-speed uh, GIF playback. You know, like this is a lot of data moving really quickly, so it's a good test to make sure that power and signals are all coming through. And then um, you sent me some fun GIFs. So this is Blinka. These are from the, the Pi Portal animated GIF player. And then, um, you know, cat GIFs. Classic. People love cat GIFs. He's a pretty cat. He's a pretty cat. Good cat. Thank you, Data. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm working on our first accessory for the Raspberry Pi 400. This is called the Cobbler 400, and it's a little thing that lets you use all of our bonnets, or if you uh, want, we also have a hat version, and this is a, a hat, for example, we're going to test out. And it plugs into the back of the Raspberry Pi 400, and then just kind of like, eh, brings it all up, so you can plug in, like, your favorite bonnets, and they just work. So this is actually a CircuitPython demo showing like your IP address, which is really handy, honestly, because I like to use this stuff headless. And then here's how it plugs in. And since, you know, a lot of the PCB fabs are closed this week, I just had this milled on our other mill. Um, but so far it's working really great. I'm gonna try um, the hat next and maybe play some animated GIFs. And then, it's my design. All right, come soon. Lots of lines. All right, Lady what is this? Hey, I'm trying out some samples. It's a sample Saturday. These are chip on board LED strips. So they're 12 volt LED strips with 320 LEDs per meter. You can see they're, they're all bonded onto this flexible strip. So they kind of look like a single pure um, LED strip. And uh, we put white LED versions of this with 480, or I think, LEDs per meter. This is 320. But it comes in like green, and it comes in like red, and I got pink and blue and yellow. So I'm going to ask if they have the higher density version, because I do like the higher density, because the LEDs are less visible. But from like a couple feet away, it looks pretty good.
All right, lady, what is this? Hey, I got some of these cool coral TPU chips. This mm -hmm. is like a machine learning accelerator in a little like package. So I made a breakout and I thought I would use my hot air gun to maybe make a couple samples here. The first thing I gotta do is stencil paste onto the boards of a board underneath here. It's lined up perfectly. And then you have to use your IEEE card. It's a requirement to spread the paste on. Let's see how it came out. Nice, not too bad. So I might do like two or three of these and then hot air them and then I'm gonna just try plugging them into my computer and they should show up as a USB device. And all of that leads to this. Yeah, well I'm still playing around with this this chip. It's kind of interesting. It's like a coral edge TPU but it's on this like little module and even though the module has like a bazillion pins on it, like only about like 10 or so are used and it basically just shows up as a a uh, USB device, and then, you know, for something like a Raspberry Pi, it can speed up um, the computation of machine learning stuff. Um, I think especially like a Raspberry Pi Zero, this could be really great because, uh, or the Pi 4, because both are, um, you know, you can connect hardware and displays and cameras, but it doesn't have an AI core processor. So this would be like a USB connected core processor and I like the idea of having it on a USB stick that you just like plug into your Pi 400 or your Pi Zero. And like now it's, you know, it can do machine learning as fast as, you know, in an optimized NVIDIA device. So we'll see. I'm going to send out these prototypes. And the power supply is kind of the, the tricky part here. The chip itself is, is very simple. It's like, again, only like 10 pins are connected. But the power supply can draw three amps. Um, that's a lot for, for a little thing that connects to USB. So hopefully the power supply can be nice and stable. We'll do some measurements. That's off secret. Okay, getting back in the vault. All right.